Oh, Poncho, Poncho, Poncho. Now, when we talk about great NFL players, we talk about the Reggie Bushes, the Brett Favre's, the Tom Brady's, the Gil Sayers. But in one particular person, the Minnesota Vikings lately is Adrian Peterson. Now, hey man, let me just tell you, DJ Blazing, Adrian Peterson, I've been a big fan of his for a long time, and he is one of my favorite players, man, in honest words. He's one of my favorite players. I know he's one of your favorite players, Poncho. Now, let's calm down. Let's calm down. Man, Adrian Peterson, if I had his speed, man, I would be running. I would be running like crazy, running sprints, running on the track. I would be running everywhere. Hey, Poncho, settle down, settle down, Poncho, settle down. Now, let's talk about Adrian Peterson. Is it smart for the Minnesota Vikings to let Adrian Peterson go? Well, I mean, in honest opinion, Minnesota Vikings, they could build a team around Adrian Peterson, but at the same time, this is sports in particular is a young man's event. Now, I'm not saying that Adrian Peterson's old. He's one of the greatest running backs, greatest receivers of all time. But, with him only playing two or three years, that would not really build up a team. I think, in a way, it was smart for the Vikings to let him go, but at the same time, you gotta have that mentor, and you gotta have that person with experience on a football team. So, we'll see with the Minnesota Vikings. We'll see if it hurts them later on down the road. But right now, I don't think it did hurt Minnesota Vikings. I think it actually, in my opinion, was smart to let Adrian Peterson go.